for this morning. We are one week away from the legislative session, the regular legislative session, one bill up for discussion designed to help those with autism. This legislation would allow them to share their diagnosis on their driver's license or state ID. News 9's Natalie Cruz live at the Capitol with details on how this could help with interactions with law enforcement. Natalie? Yeah, absolutely. House Bill 3671 was filed by Oklahoma lawmaker Nicole Miller. Now, this bill would add an identifying marker on the state ID or driver's license to indicate that that person has autism. Now, the purpose of this bill is to help our first responders learn how to better approach a situation when coming across one. Now, Miller actually had an interim study in October to hear from advocates and law enforcement officials. Miller says the voluntary designation would help law enforcement better understand how to approach a situation, but also reduce stress for the driver and their loved ones. Carly Dummett, outreach coordinator for the Autism Foundation of Oklahoma, was diagnosed with autism as a child and says people with autism are seven times more likely to have police interactions than a normal typical person. She says law enforcement officials call all the time asking for more training. Take a listen. Sometimes I literally, if my emotions are also really running high, I just, I stutter. It takes me a while to get a sentence out. And that happened to me when I was a teenager, the first time I got pulled over by a cop for speeding. You know, people only know what they know until they know more. And that's why the training in this bill is so important. That's why one of our big passions is training first responders. And House Bill 3671 is to be considered during the next legislative session, which kicks off on February 5th. Of course, we'll keep you updated. At the state capitol this morning, I'm Natalie Cruz for Oklahoma Zone News 9.